It is a a Bedini pulse motor with four drive coils instead of 37 ohms each they have a hundred ohms each and with a 12 volt source they'll draw about 125 milliamps you see down here so these uh, blue squares are the north field magnets facing north outwards towards the uh, electromagnets around them and when the circuit fires all four will trigger with one switch each coil will pull 125 milliamps bringing you to about 500 milliamps or half an amp to run all four of these you can um, raise your resistance on each coil if you want to drop your milliamp draw I will post a link to a calculator site so you can easily determine how many ohms you want to make your coils based on how many milliamps you want each coil to to draw that will be in the description getting to the circuit let's zoom in here <clears throat> Zoom in for me. And here you can see the um, the four low voltage diodes allowing the positive from the drive battery to pass through each coil. And when this gate closes right here, when the trigger, when the base is hit and is triggered, the transistor will close the channel here and close the gate, allowing the 125 milliamps per coil to pass through to hit the negative, complete the circuit, and charge these four coils. Then the gate will open and all four of these coils will fly back through the high, each individual high voltage diode here you have four of them and they will isolate each other's flyback by each of them having a diode on each channel and they will combine their flybacks into the charge battery here in the same way these four diodes low voltage isolate the charge they receive um, you know it may be pump let me think here yeah you need these diodes here because once this gate opens if they're not here this coil, its flyback will, pretending there's no diode here, flyback will, and there's no diode here either. When this does fly back, it'll go up into this coil, it'll go up into this coil, it'll go up into this coil, and this coil's flyback will go up into this coil, this coil. So basically, basically all four coils will fly back into each other and cancel if you don't have these diodes here, but they're there, so. And then when the flyback happens, it's not going to go through this diode. It's going to come out these channels, separate, with their own diode. And that's how you isolate the flyback. <clears throat> so this is just an experimental model. You can use the same gauge wire. I believe Bodini's drive coils were about 37 or 38 ohms or 35 ohms 
and uh, around with a 23 gauge wire and I could be wrong about that but it's around that gauge <clears throat> just um, you know when you're done winding your coil and you'll measure the impedance and you'll know from there and you want to match well you don't have to match the impedance if you don't want to but do you want all coils to draw the same amount of power then you want to do that uh, if you don't do that you can experiment and have different impedances on each coil because you know it's not going to be a problem because they have separate cores and they're they're a good distance from each other assuming you, you use it to spin a rotor they're 90 degrees apart you shouldn't have a problem and another thing about having oscillating coils even this close together if you have too much current and the field is too strong it will reach to the other coil and they'll trigger each other and not to say that's a bad thing you will keep your motor running because they'll just be triggering each other but you'll lose control over your motor RPMs you won't be able to keep control over it if they trigger each other so the EMF coming off one here which again that shouldn't matter either because they're all getting triggered at the same time so I take that back you know if they're all being triggered at the same time there should be no no problem there I say that because I did one experiment once when I was trying to trigger two coils around a rotor that were 45 degrees apart and uh, and they were also being triggered 45 degrees apart and these coils are not being triggered apart they're being triggered together so you won't have any issue with feedback if they're triggered together if you try to trigger them in a stagger fashion you trigger this one before you trigger this one and they're too close together then when you do trigger this one the EMF field might trigger the one close by to it I've had that experience before so let me move on and just say that this is a circuit for a pole, four pole um, pulse motor using the Bedini flyback method and I just took the circuit and modified it <clears throat> with the photo editor and I hope this makes sense and uh, feel free to replicate over and out